So I see Tommy Robinson has been remanded. Now, regular viewers of this channel will probably guess my politics are at the other end of the spectrum for Tommy. Having said that, I'm not sure rebarning Tommy was a very wise or ethical decision. Tommy does have very different politics to me, but I do support his right to have those uh, politics and to express his opinion and for his supporters together, so long as they do so peacefully. And the government seems to be playing into Tommy's hands by remanding him at this point. It would have been easier to wait till his demonstration was over tomorrow and then do it. Now the government has really shot itself in the foot and it's given ammunition to those who would see Tommy as a martyr. Now, let's have a look, quick look at an article about Tommy. The BBC had an article about him, I noticed, which seemed to have disappeared. Now, I'm not one for <laughs> insisting that things disappear off the mainstream medium for a conspiracy, but I suggest that that was removed um, until matters settle, at least. So I'm forced to use the London Standard, which is, well, not exactly the height of quality journalism, to say the least, and hasn't been for years, even before it was a free paper. But Tommy Robinson charged under Terrorism Act over mobile phone pin. Tommy Robinson has been charged over the ter Terrorism Act after turning himself in at Folkestone Police Station on Friday afternoon. Robinson, real name Stephen Yaxley Lennon, is alleged to have failed to provide the pin to his mobile phone. Well, if that's true, of course, he should provide it because he's obviously... Uh, another perspective on this, of course, is that Tommy is creating a situation by doing that. But it's not as though the uh, great powers that be of the British state can't hack a mobile phone. Every every corner shop that sells you a mobile phone to unlock could do that. I, I suspect I could do it myself with a bit of an effort as I've got sufficient technology to get the basic to know the basics of it. And so have quite a lot of people watching this. <sighs> really, uh, it's half a a dozen of one and half a dozen the other. Tommy, of course, knows that if he doesn't provide it, they'll remand him. They know they're forced to. And Tommy is not... One thing I've never thought about Tommy is that he's particularly stupid. You get... A, he, <laughs> issues with temper management, yes. Uh, propensity to stick beak up his nose and to hire hookers, yes. These don't mean he's stupid. They mean he's undisciplined. And although that may be regarded as a certain form of stupidity. The man does have a reasonably high intellect and did complete an apprenticeship to be an aerospace engineer, and you don't walk into those. Um, my own view is, although I dislike the populism and shoutiness of Robinson's whole approach to the matters of immigration, and I don't think he's Britain's great white hope or anything like it, I think he's at this point basically someone who needs to create a living out of this whole thing and it keeps doing so and will keep doing so for many years to come, hopefully, for well, at least he's hoping so, will now have created a martyr complex around him, which we'll see him enshrined as a great martyr of British society. We'll see what's going to happen tomorrow with the demonstration. Um, hopefully it's going to pass off peacefully, as I have no wish to see central London embroiled in a riot of violence. But it perhaps would have been wisest to let him just be there. And if he did if something stupid happened, well, he would have shot himself in the foot at that point. 